The U.S. turning up the heat on China over hacking. That is the front page of today's Wall Street Journal with a story by Siobhan Gorman. Welcome to Digits. I'm Simon Constable. Siobhan joins us now from Washington, D.C. Siobhan, thanks for being there. Great to be with you. So we, we know that the U.S. has accused China of hacking U.S. companies. And now ch the U.S. is turning up that heat. What are they doing exactly to turn up that heat? Well, right now the, wa the White House is assessing a number of options to take action that would follow up kind of the, the accelerated rhetoric that we've seen on the part of administration officials over the last couple of months. And among the things that they're looking at are uh, doing formal prosecutions against individual Chinese hackers, uh, applying different types of diplomatic pressure, perhaps corralling other governments to reinforce the message, uh, bringing uh, cases or putting on the agenda of the World Trade Organization some of these hacking issues, and possibly cyber offense or defense as well. So cyber offense and defense is obviously going to be very much liked by the companies here in the U.S. that, uh, that think they've been hacked by the Chinese. Um, now the Chinese is saying, no, we, we didn't do it. Show us your evidence. Right. Uh, and, and in response to that, the U.S. government actually did that exact thing in uh, about May of 2012, after they had been frustrated by the repeated Chinese denials, on the, the as part of a, a regular diplomatic meeting with China, the uh, State Department brought a U.S. intelligence official who spent two hours laying out in meticulous detail three different cases of Chinese hacking. So what U.S. officials say at this point is they they feel that they've really presented the evidence to the Chinese government. Now in in January, in, in your it says in January the State Department issued a démarche. Uh, what is that and, and what does it mean? Well, it's a formal complaint that the State Department makes to another government. And while a demarche in and of itself doesn't necessarily have uh, an effect, what this was in this case was a formalizing of complaints that they had been making privately over the last few months and in a way a little bit of a heads up that the administration is serious and is looking to turn the heat up and particularly with Chinese culture doing taking actions through formal channels does really mean something there. So that's the sort of like setting the scene for more action and that that gives the Chinese government the chance to sort of get ready for this is that is that the best tactic are they going to be more likely to respond favorably to that well, at this point, I think from the administration's perspective, they feel that they've kind of put the Chinese on notice. And there is talk now of a working group between the U.S. and China to try to sort through some of these uh, really difficult cybersecurity issues and, and hacking issues. When I talk with uh, people more on the security side of the U.S. government, they're still very skeptical that, that China is really going to back off on some of these hacking activities because they feel that the, the hacking is actually a pretty central component of national policy. And it's, it's one of the ways that China is building up their key industries, whether it's in energy or high tech or things like that. So that's going to be a, a really difficult decision for China to make, whether it wants to uh, sort of meet, meet some of the U.S. demands for stopping these kinds of activities, uh, perhaps in, in conflict with what has been part of its national policy. And that's at least the, the perspective of, of people who work on the, the security side in the U.S. government. Interesting. Well, it'll be interesting to see how it all plays out. Thank you very much, Siobhan Gorman, to the Wall Street Journal. Thank you. And uh, you can read more of that great stories, a lot more stuff in that in today's Wall Street Journal or on WSJ.com. I'm Simon Constable, and that was Digits.